guest is a Tony Award-nominated actress you know from shows like Only Murders in the Building and The Idol. She stars in The Holdovers, which is in theaters now. Let's take a look. And neither of them made it to 25. My baby wasn't even 20. I'm so sorry. I took this job when Curtis was small because I wanted to ensure that he was going to have a good education. You know he flourished here. Yes. No, he was a great kid. I mm -hmm. had him one semester. Very insightful. Mm-hmm. He hated you. He said you were a real ass Well, uh, like I said, <laughs> sharp kid, insightful. Please welcome to the show, Dave I and Joy Randolph, everybody. Welcome to the show, Dave Vine. How are you? you? I'm good. Uh, I am in New York at the perfect time. It is a good time to the be. The trees are up. The lights are up. And it's... you like this? Yes. OK, good. To watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To watch, OK. Right, because it's now like, OK, it's holidays now. Yeah. I feel like they just put it up like yesterday. Yeah, it just went up. I like it less because I have to come here every day. Yeah, you, know, you got to fight here today the and you're like, oh my God, Christmas. And then you get to leave and don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And every day I'm like, why are all these people at my office? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a beautiful film. It's oh, a wonderful dear. holiday film as well. It's about Paul Giamatti as a teacher who stays at the school for kids who can't leave for the holidays. Yeah. You are uh, uh, the woman who works in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And it's basically the three of you, uh, you and Paul and a student. It's a beautiful film. It feels like it was made in the 70s. Yeah. There's all these lovely touches, but I imagine while you were making the movie, you wouldn't know what it was gonna look like when it was done. No, so Alexander Payne does something very, I think, amazing. He doesn't use Video Village. Video Village is like, um, with these monitors, you can see, you know, like, Yes. What's going on? In and between so, takes, you can go back and see how the last one looked. None of it. And so he literally is in the room filming, and then he has his face right. So the camera's here, and his face is right here. And he'll be like, action. Wow. It's very, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you're used to, like, action, like a yell. Because they're way far away, yeah. Yeah, so it's, like, it's very intimate. It feels like this very fly-on-the-wall type thing, and we're just being and so we had no idea like you know our clothes were like oh okay so our clothes look vintagey and we're in these like old abandoned buildings but you have no idea and then you see the movie and you're like whoa yeah we you really, really feel like this could have been made in the 70s we really transported there and i think also the city of boston is yeah. perfect for that too yeah. you know what i mean and like the more you get northern of like northeast it's per it's timeless yeah. those are people that are resistant to change yes <laughs> They're like, we got it right. We're not gonna yeah. make it a lot fancier. Yes. Uh, you want fancy, go down south. Um, yeah. So uh, another thing I heard is that you, uh, working in the kitchen, uh, mm -hmm. you told Alexander Payne that you wanted to actually physically cook the food. Yeah, so I really love to cook, and I just, I, I needed something with my hands, um, and I knew that it would ground me in the character. And so in the movie, there is a soup, oatmeal, um, like she's, prepping and chopping up all the vegetables, a roasted chicken, and like a big pot of scrambled eggs is like the hangover yeah. meal or whatever. And um, I loved all of it. And he was so kind. He, um, he basically was like, okay, what is the Christmas menu? And so I get to pick out what the Christmas menu was and all the trimmings. And then they had, there's a series called Julia, like the Julia Child series. Yes, I think it was at HBO. And um, the people from there worked with us and so I got to just like geek out on like food nerdy stuff. Very nice. Yeah, and get, we swapped like recipes and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, we cooked it all. And it was all great except for the oatmeal. Really? <laughs> yes. I don't take this the wrong way. That's one of the easier things you listed. <laughs> no, because after doing several takes, oatmeal starts getting thick. It's like yeah, a yeah. plaster yeah, no, after right. five takes. And I'm like, 
trying to do it yeah. and like make it look seamless. Sometimes it got stuck, the, the spoon got stuck in there. So um, that was the only one that I was like, ooh, I should have So you would tell actors one. you should definitely cook your own food but fake it with the oatmeal. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah, the oatmeal's too much. You also have to smoke in the movie. This did not come as natural as the... No, okay. no, I'm not a smoker at all. I'm a vocalist, so I, I, no, no, no. Um, and um, he, that was something when we first talked about it, he was like, just so you know, you're holding it down with the smoking. Yeah. He has a pipe, you got the cigs. And I was like, oh, well, I don't smoke. And he was like, you have a package coming in two days. And he must have like express shipped two large boxes of cartons fulls of cigarettes. Okay. Fake ones. Okay, good, yeah. And as I was doing the fake ones, I was like, this isn't cutting it because the, it was like the, the smoke would like plume out like it was a cigar and it would cover my face up. Yeah. And I'd still be talking, but like a big cloud of smoke is over my face. And I was like, well, that's not gonna work. And so I was nervous that I was gonna get addicted. Yeah. So like I tried different brands and I was like, oop, that might get me addicted. That one, that one. <laughs> and then it was like, I think it's called like American Trade. Okay. Is that the one? Or I, American Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I know that the blue one, the okay. blue one. That was like the perfect dosage where I was like, okay, yeah. I can do this. I'm not gonna get addicted and it's gonna, it's real. So it's gonna look real. And so I, I would ask people who smoked, like, does this look right? I would watch old movies. Like, oh, that's good. Who's the best uh, old movie? Betty Davis. Betty Davis. Betty Davis, Betty Davis. Great. She has it on lock. So I would like constantly have a cigarette because it's a choreography of knowing when to pull it the, to the drag it, and then do you hold it? Can we start talking now? Yeah. Do I release it now? Am I gonna do like the weed, like, and then you know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that? No, it's you the 70s, that. Yeah, and it wouldn't that wouldn't make sense. So I was like, I gotta figure this out, and like, you know, to try to track like, okay, well, she's upset right now, so she's going through these cigs faster than in other situations. So it was a really cool, fun thing to just That's amazing. have. Yeah, that in dialect, it was just like great anchors for me. It's fantastic because I will say it is the most naturally acted movie uh, by all oh, of you. Thank you. And now I'm gonna go back and watch it and realize, like, oh my God, all she's thinking about is oatmeal and cigarettes. <laughs> yes! That's literally exactly. all she's doing. She's like, smoke, stir, smoke, smoke stir, smoke, stir. Smoke, stir. Smoke, stir. Ah! Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful film. Uh, thank you're you. receiving Oscar buzz, and knock on wood, but uh, oh, deservedly so. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You guys, so that's Dave Joy Randolph, the holdovers in theaters now.